Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. My name is Brianna. This is Coffee Books and Bullet Journals and I am going to talk to you about the books that I'm going to read in the month of December. Okay, so as you can probably tell by the title of the video, I am not going to do categories this month uh, for a couple of reasons. One, November did not happen as far as reading. Uh, I think I'm, I'm at three books read for the month and and one, two, no, one of them wasn't even on my categories. So like I have not done well. In my defense, I'm writing a book. So like <laughs> I can't do everything. So. I was finding that I was like trying to like push through these books and I didn't really want to uh, so I'm not. That's just kind of what's going to happen. I'm just not going to push through them and I'm just going to kind of start with a clean fresh slate in January. The second reason is I have a lot of books that I want to read in December whether they be holiday books or well, I don't think I actually, well, I have like wintry books. And then I also have like a secret TBR that I want to do. And I, I'm afraid that if I do categories, none of the books will work. And then I would end up reading way too many books. So I'm going to be doing things a little differently this month. January's categories will come back. We'll start fresh in the new year uh, but I kind of want to wrap up the year and like maybe finish a series um, read a couple books that I've literally been trying to get on my categories TBR since May and it just won't happen so and then also some books that I had kind of like softy enough that I would like to finish up so Margaret from the word nerd you've seen here on my channel before we're really good friends um, and she makes this bingo board every year for the month of December to kind of like organize your reading and it's great and I'm gonna try to do it this year. I think I like unintentionally tried to do it last year but this year like I'm picking books based on this because it's just a really good way to kind of round out your year. I mean there's things like finishing a series and stuff like that so um, that's what I'm gonna use. Obviously I'm not gonna do 25 books will double up and triple up and quadruple up. But here are some books that I want to read. Here are the prompts that they might fit. Uh, and I will link the tweet that has this picture or, or this image in the description below so that you can uh, check it out. I'll also link Margaret's channel below. If you haven't checked her out already, you really should. Let's go ahead and talk about the books that I want to read in the month of December. Okay, the first one makes no sense because it's starting a new series and I don't know what I'm doing with my life, but that's okay. Uh, I've seen everybody talking about it and I just want to read it. So I'm going to read it. So I'm going to read Skyward by Brandon Sanderson. This is the first in a trilogy, I think, because I think the third one's coming out this year, which is why I think a lot of people are reading it uh, or next early next year. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, this is um, Brandon Sanderson's young adult sci-fi uh and it's it's kind of like the step in like the toe in the water because i don't know that i could do mistborn or way of kings i don't know i don't think i'm there yet so i figured i would start with his ya stuff so this is about spensa i think yeah um spensa and her father was like deemed a traitor and now she's a pilot at this like school basically to save the world i feel like it's gonna be very star wars-esque I'm here for it. As far as prompts are concerned, let's see what we've got here. Um, it's not a snowy book. It is a new to you author because I've never read from Sanderson before. Uh, I mean, it takes place in space, so maybe another country? It's another planet. Does that work? The backlist book. Um, I mean, a stranger didn't recommend it, but a lot of people have recommended it. Um, it was... See, it's a purple book. There we go. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay, the next one is a nonfiction book that I have heard a lot of people talking about, and so I did purchase it. I wanted to read it during nonfiction November, but it didn't happen because I'm not reading anything. So anyways, that is Disfigured on Fairy Tales, Disability, and Making Space. And this talks a lot about um, how the people with disability rap 
or the disability rep in Disney and in fairy tales and things like that are usually the villains or like the joke of a character and we don't ever see like a disabled main character or protagonist. So um, this is going to be a really good essay and really excited to pick it up. Um, Jesse from Bowties and Books talked about it and really loved it. Um, Kayla from Books and Lala really love it, loved it. And uh, yeah, so this fulfills prompt. I guess it's really not a book because it's like a essays. I don't know. Is it a book? It's nonfiction. It's not a novel. It's a new to you author. I've never read from this author before. I think it might be a 2020 book. Let's see. I mean, everyone was talking about it. Yep, 2020. Uh, the author is from Canada, so it is technically another country. It's 300 pages or less because it is, I think I checked it was 235. So it's a short book and it has purple on the cover. Does it have a drink on the cover? No, there's no cup or anything like that. Cause that's the one that I don't think I have. But yeah, I'm very excited to pick this one up. Here is a book that has been on a couple of TBRs, I think, and I just never got around to it. Uh, so that is No Exit by Taylor Adams. This is a thriller and it's a kind of snowed in type thriller, which I feel like will be perfect for December. It's winter. Um, also, I did not realize what this place takes place in Utah or near Utah. Um, she's going back from Colorado to Utah or something like that. And so it takes place on that journey. But this is about a woman who gets snowed in, has to stop at a truck stop, and then when she like goes out to her car for something, she notices that in another car there is a child in a cage. And so then she has to like figure out who the person is that's like stealing a child. Seems very terrifying. I've heard a lot of good things about it. And I'm here for those like, you know, creepy snowed in thrillers right now. There is a prompt on here for a snowy book. This is a backlist book. Um, it, it's not really a oopsie enough because I never actually started it, but it has been on several TBRs. So I do, would, I, I do want to finish this this year. Okay, uh, another book that I want to read is Darling Rose Gold by Stephanie Robel. If you watched my TBR last month, I did talk, or I did have this on my TBR, and I talked about this in my last vlog, but I just haven't gotten to it. I can't find a um, audiobook for it, and that's pretty much all that I had been doing this month, just because of my new job and uh, this other, you know, NaNoWriMo, all this other stuff. So haven't really gotten around to this, but I do want to read it before the end of the year. It does meet a pop sugar challenge. I have very few of them left and I would like to read them if I could. So that's this. Um, this is about um, a woman who has Munchausen by proxy. Um, so basically she thinks that her daughter is sick um, gets her into like all of these tests and, and, and hospitals. I don't know much about it, but I don't want to because the people that knew more going into this and, and knew the, um, uh, why am I blanking on the name? I don't know. There was a show or a movie about it. Um, and the people that watched that movie said that this was really similar. I haven't watched it and I don't want to, so I'm going to read the book first and hopefully enjoy it. Um, like I said, I didn't talk about this on my last month's TBR, so you know what it is. <laughs> this uh, is a 2020 release, so that one would work. Um, it's a sparkly cover. I think this does have a three-ish star rating on Goodreads, but I have no idea and I'm not going to check. Uh, but Based on like the average ratings that people are giving this, I feel like it's gonna like it was a three star <laughs> based on a lot of the people that um, that read it. But like I said, a lot of people knew kind of knew the story. So I'm hoping for a higher rating than that. <laughs> and then the other one that this would fulfill would be a sparkly cover. So because it's, you know, rose gold and I mean, it's kind of sparkly, I guess. Not really, but that's fine. All right. So here is a book that has tried to get onto to the Scategories TBR since the beginning of Scategories TBR. The problem is it's a one word title, so it's hard to like fit it in. Like you'd have to be very specific on the prompt and the letter. And so it just never made it onto it, but it's a book that I really want to read and it has been calling to me for months. Uh, I just haven't gotten around to it. So this month I'm going to, and that is Recursion by Blake Crouch. This is a sci-fi thriller. Uh, I read Dark Matter last year and it made my top 10 of the year. So I'm kind of hoping that this one might do the same. Uh, 
Blake Crouch is amazing with his like sci-fi and thriller aspects and, and the science and the technicality parts of it. Um, it's almost like borders on a medical sci-fi thriller. Actually, I think that's pretty much exactly what it is. But this one um, is based on um, memories and someone who has Alzheimer's, um, but it's called like false memory syndrome or something like that. So basically like you're remembering things that are not correct. And I'm sure that there is a lot of other stuff going on, but I've been told not to read the synopsis. So I'm not going to read the synopsis. <laughs> I'm going to go into this really blind and hopefully be in for a wild ride. So stay tuned for that. For prompts, um, they're I'm trying to think of which ones that would be. It would, I don't, I mean, it's not a backlist book because he hasn't written another book since, but it was a 2019 release. And then it was on my TBR before 2020. So uh, other than that, I don't think it's going to match many, but I don't care. Okay, I would like to close out a series, and there are a lot of them that I have multiple books left, but this one's a duology, and I would like to just finish the, the year out, uh, closing it out, because if I don't, I'm not going to end up, it's going to take me way too long to finish this, <laughs> so I'm just going to read it now, and that is a uh, Beautifully Foolish Endeavor by Hank Green. I've also been like following Hank Green on TikTok, and I really love him, so... Uh, I want to get back into his books. And an absolutely remarkable thing was fantastic. I loved it. And so this one is definitely one that I want to continue with. I know it's going to be amazing. It might break my heart. It's fine. This series is great if you like kind of light sci-fi because this is almost contemporary but with aliens. And while I'm kind of trying to start diving into the little bit more like technical, deeper sci-fi books, this is still a really nice palette cleanser and just an all around good time. So can't wait to read it. The next book is a book that I did soft DNF. I don't, this is kind of like the bottom of the priority um, as far as the books that I want to read. And that is Agnes at the End of the World by Kelly McWilliams. Like I said, I did softy enough this in October. I got about halfway through it. Um, so I'll probably just pick up where I left off. Uh, this does deal with a pandemic and I wasn't quite in the right headspace for that in October. I'm feeling a little better now. I'm not in so much of a like slump. So that's good. So I'm hoping that I can pick this up and enjoy it. Um, and we'll just see. This is about a girl trying to get out of like a religious cult um, that's and then also like there's some sort of virus or pandemic also involved. Um, other than that, I don't really know a lot about it. It has um, two sisters. Like I said, I don't know a lot about it and I was halfway through it. I might have to restart it or at least like skim the first half because I, I don't remember much. <laughs> Which I'm not sure if that's saying any, saying a whole lot about this book, but we'll see. Um, hopefully it doesn't like become a huge disappointment, but we'll see. And then the last book that I would like to read this month is Snapped by Alexa Martin. This is the newest in her, um, I think it's called the Playbook series, but it's basically about these like football players uh, and their romances. I love these so much. They're so good. They're just a palate cleanser. They're so heartwarming and I'm, I'm here for this. I absolutely love sports romances. It's definitely something that's like a buzzword for me, especially football romances. And yeah, these ones are so much fun. And Alexa Martin knows how to, to write smut, um, but also deal with some like heavier issues. This one actually deals with a little bit of the Black Lives Matter movement and police brutality because the player is that like is the main character kneels during the national anthem. So um, kind of like the whole Colin Kaepernick thing. So um, very excited about that. Those are the books that I am reading in the month of December. I apologize that Scategories is not here this month. I'm sorry, it will be back in January though. Uh, that's all I got for you right now. If you are new here and you have not yet subscribed, there's a little red button that you can do so down below the video. And all of the other links to my social media will be in the description below if you would like to be my friend on any other platform. Thank you all for watching and I will see you next time.